us right now to talk more about what to do this morning is Simeon Hyman. He is ProShares Advisors Global Investment Strategist. And Simeon, it's great to see you. Thanks for having me. Okay, so people are nervous. They watched our markets fall by over 600 points for the Dow on Friday. Then you wake up and you hear the Shanghai and the Shenzhen composite are down by 7.5%, 8.5%. What do we do now? Well, look. The green that we see on the screen in the U.S. is a reminder that for a lot of folks, sitting on one's hands is the smartest thing you can do. Mm -hmm. In many, many of these contagions prior, you can see it if you were looking at any of the finance sites all weekend, the market still has gone up most of the time, any reasonable amount of time post this. But if you're looking for a safe haven, you know, the one thing that, that has worked over the last month are zero coupon bonds. I mean, the Treasury yields have come down, and if you want the most bang for the buck there, you take the zeros, and at least it goes the other way. You need to get out of the way of it when things go the other way, because yields are probably going to rise again. But that is a classic safe haven trade. All right, so the 10-year note this morning yielding 1.536%. If you buy those zero coupon bonds, you think the yield's actually going to go even lower than this? It's a hedge. Yeah. If that contagion gets worse, we could see 1%. Over the even medium term, the odds are those are going up. But if you're, if you're saying to yourself, things are going to get real bad for the next few weeks, those yields will drop a little further. But you've got to get out of the way on the other side. You're still saying that probably the best thing to do is to sit on your hands and wait and see what happens with them? There's things around the edges you can do. For example, instead of zero coupon bonds, investment grade bonds at least have some spread associated with it. You have even a tiny bit more spread than you had sure. a few weeks ago, and you don't have to get away from it so quickly on the other side. And you might consider things things like just staying out of the energy sector. It's down 11 percent this month, but it might not come back so fast because there are real structural issues there. I, I mean, energy has its own structural issues, as you point to, but I, I guess your point being there that if China's economy is hurt badly by this, they are the second largest economy in the globe, and there's not going to be more demand for energy at this That's point. right. There, there, are, there will be lingering issues. So if you're positioning yourself sort of post-crisis, you might want to stay light on energy. You might want to heavy up on quality dividend growing type companies that, for example, have grown their dividends last year, the S&P 500 dividend aristocrats. So in the short term, you want those zeros. In the longer term, some quality dividend paying stocks.